Paul, thank you for your time. 3 1 defeat here at Stevenage today. What are your immediate thoughts coming out of the dressing room? Well, obviously, disappointed. Um, you know, we came here to try and win, to try and back up a good performance last week. We were well aware of our inadequacies at Shrews, and I was, you know, obviously concerned that that didn't happen again. Uh, I thought the first half was pretty even. We didn't create a lot, but nor did they. Obviously disappointed that we conceded two 30-yard um, free kicks, so that's a, a massive blow. And then we changed it at half-time, really. We were sort of getting down a little bit on the diags over Foz and doubling up, so we changed the shape. I thought we started the second half really well, uh, created plenty of chances and plenty of um, action within their penalty box, but we didn't get the equaliser. Um, and like you know, on another day, washes one. If he pulls the trigger a little bit quicker, um, you get two-two, and then you're in the ascendancy. It wasn't the case, and we tried to make as many changes, positive changes, on the pitch as we could. We played as many positive, um, sorry, attacking players as we could, and weirdly, possibly, the more we huffed and puffed, the worse we got. Uh, and sometimes, when you know there's still 20 minutes left on the clock, you just got to pick and choose your. Um, uh, probably sometimes just breathe a little bit. It just felt a bit frenetic, uh, so that was disappointing. And then obviously they, you know, probably flattered. I don't, not too sure we were a three-one drumming, but really disappointing. And obviously, you know, um, the fans are hugely disappointed because they've made a lot of effort to come and watch the team and support the team and feel let down. Which um, you know, obviously I'm disappointed about. I'm sad about. Uh, but the lads kept going to the final whistle but we just the physical part of the game sort of let us down in terms I think in quite a few interviews over the last year you've talked about moments in games you had that Connor Washington moment where you mentioned there maybe pulling the trigger could have gone in you had a chance later on when Connor Hurrahan had it a chance swung at it went over the bar and then they go down the other end and, and make it 3-1 how frustrating is it at the moment that those moments just aren't on your side Oh yeah, hugely frustrating. I mean, I remember Cash's header as well. I'm um, too sure what's happening there, but yeah, it's hugely frustrating because you know the lads take the information on really well, train really well, um, and then you know we just let ourselves down in in moments in games. And today was an, another example where you know we had chances to equalise and we just didn't take it. And you know, unfortunately, we need to become more ruthless if we're gonna pick up the points we need to be successful so that, that's the disappointment for me I thought as well first half we just didn't play with enough personality that was also um, another issue I just didn't think we were good enough on the ball or and I was saying to him about being brave because it's going to be a physical game but being brave on the ball not just winning challenges and winning second balls you've got to be brave on the ball and take it you can't just sort of stand back and go yeah just throw it down the line it's fine you've got to be brave and try and get on it so uh, that's what's disappointing and like we created enough moments to potentially um, take something from the game but we haven't and you know um, hugely heartbroken by that You've got a home game on Tuesday it's a, a quick turnaround again you mentioned on Radio Derby it feels like it's one step forward and one either back or sideways you must the, the lack of sort of consistency must be in terms of results what's driving you absolutely mad at the moment yeah, a little. Well, obviously, I mean, you know me pretty well. Yeah, uh, disappointing. I mean, we, um, we, we, it's sort of like there's nothing in between. We were excellent or, you know, quite poor. But it's the, it's the taking the opportunities. You know, Tuesday night we took the opportunities and you win. No, I don't even think they had a shot today. I don't know how many uh, attempts on goal they had, but uh, it's frustrating. So, yeah, you want a back-to-back -back wins. You, you know, you go into another home game. You, you feel good about yourself. But look, I, I knew coming here, it's going to be a tough game. They were higher than us in the league. It's not going to be easy. No one gets their belly rubbed and just lay down. They play in a way, you know, win a dubious free kick for the second goal. And that's all the, you know, you, that, that when you come to away from home, there are all the other things you have to fight. Not just, you know, the opposition. You have to fight everything about it. And. Um, we just fell short today, of which um, you know I'm sorry for. Just a couple of housekeeping issues. No Martin Wagon today. What's the situation with him? And, and also just on Joe Ward. Good to see him back on the pitch because it's been a, a long old road for him coming back. Yeah, it's good for uh, Wardy. Unfortunately, Waggy uh, pulled out of training. Um, sorry, after training yesterday. But uh, 
40, 30 minutes after training, um, came with the doctor in my room and just said he felt a bit uh, hammy. Um, it calmed down. He didn't really feel it in training. He felt it after it. So we weren't going to take a risk if you know if he played today and then out for six weeks is pointless. So we didn't take the risk for him. And obviously having Wardy back on the pitch um, gave us something else, which I was glad he was on the bench because I just thought we could have something else. Um, so yeah, so you know, yin and yang, and it good and bad. So hopefully Waggy will be fit. Um, you know, he won't be available possibly for Tuesday or Sunday. Uh, but hopefully for after that. And we mentioned in one of the previous questions, home on Tuesday, Northampton, quick turnaround, ready to go again at Pride Park. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, um, uh, you've got to criticise, you know, well, criticise all of us, but we've got to build ourselves back up again for Tuesday. Like, And uh, you win again Tuesday and the world seems a better place, but it's just frustrating that we can't do back-to-back uh, performances and results because at times our play is scintillating and at times we let ourselves down. So we just got to try and get the balance right and um, hopefully if Tuesday night playing against another good team, they've been promoted like these have, so they're full of confidence and beans. Hopefully if we can perform Tuesday night, we can give um, our fans uh, something to smile about.